Take a look at this reunion, or this one, or this one. When animals reunite with their owners after a long time apart, the emotions are off the charts. For example, here. When a dog hasn't seen its owner for too long and can finally visit him in the hospital. I think dogs are better than any medicine. And this alpaca came to say goodbye to its friend on the last day of his spring break. A blind dog found its owner by his scent and is very happy to see him. You found me, a girl. This guy has been friends with this bird since it was a baby, and now they fly together. One of the reasons to become friends with a fox is that it's always happy to see you. I love you still. That was wild. And this is an incredible reunion between a female hippo and a vet who saved her back when she was only a week old. And yet, she recognized her all these years later. When a bear considers you a friend instead of its prey. This dog came to pick up its owner from the airport after three months of not seeing her. Oh, oh. This young deer came to visit the guy who rescued it the year before. Oh. <laughs> This little penguin befriended a zookeeper, and this is how they greet each other. This pet monkey is very happy to see its owner after she's been away for a week. A small shark has been friends with this diver since its birth for over 10 years. Look at one of their encounters. It acts just like a cat. And this man became an adoptive dad to 19 lions at once. And this is how they greet him. This dog did not recognize its owner after a long time apart. But then... <laughs> this camel may not have arms to hug its friend, but it has a long neck. For several days, Sydney police have been looking for a missing rat named Lucy. And they were finally able to return it to its owner, a homeless man. And this is how a baby deer greets the girl who has been taking care of it. It must have gotten very attached to her. You don't want to suck on my ear. I'm sure you've heard that dolphins can be very friendly. But this encounter with divers went beyond all expectations. Baby! A touching encounter between a girl and a donkey. I had no idea that donkeys could purr. Hi, buddy. I you. Hi, buddy. Just look how cute these two can cuddles are. Elephants accepted a human into their herd because he took care of them. But then he had to go away for 14 months. And look at the way they greet him when he returns. This diver encountered a friendly octopus, 
At first, it tried to pull her leg into its lair, and then it went for a hug. This woman takes care of two wombats, Sylvie and Tina. Sylvie was found next to her dead mother that was a victim of a car accident. At that point, Sylvie weighed no more than 13 ounces, and Tina was found alone on the streets when she was a little bit older. As a result, they both live with their adoptive mother and don't leave her side. Wolves are greeting a volunteer who takes care of them. How are they any different from dogs? There are many reptiles in this house, including a 5-foot, 60-pound, 4-year-old crocodile named Wally. But that's not all. Take a look at the way it greets the owners. This girl hadn't seen her horse in four months and was afraid that it wouldn't recognize her. But then... <laughs> this pig is greeting its friend who saved it in the past. And there I was thinking that pigs can only love food. <laughs> Ideally, a reunion between friends should look like this. People adopted this wombat two years prior when its mother was hit by a car, and now they are so inseparable that it doesn't even mind playing a game with its owner. After meeting its owner, this monkey doesn't want to leave her side even for a second. When you've been waiting for a walk with your human for way too long, Have you ever seen a more friendly goose? <laughs> this woman visited her friends after not seeing them for a few months, and this is how their dog greeted her. And this fish came up to the diver of its own volition so that he would pet it. This huge tiger is so happy to see its friend, it almost looks like a big plush toy. While I'd be scared to see a bear even in the far distance, look at what this man is doing. Everything is alright, no one is trying to eat anyone, the bear is just happy to see him. A soldier came home after an 8-month deployment and decided to surprise his dogs. This is the result. This woman rescued a lion named Jupiter from a circus when it was just a cub. Jupiter's mom died from cruel treatment, and the young lion ended up in an animal rescue center, after which he was sent to a zoo, where his health really declined, causing the animal to lose hundreds of pounds. Finally, Jupiter's adoptive mom rescued him again, making sure he was returned to a sanctuary. And here is their reunion after all the trials and tribulations. I feel completely connected to Pocho. And this person is known for his long friendship with Pocho the Crocodile, which even made his wife leave him. Well, at least it's easier to find a new wife than to find a new crocodile friend. And here, Lionesses Meg and Amy greet their friend Kevin Richardson, also known as the Lion Whisperer. At some point, he rescued them from poachers, and now he's teaching them to live in the wild. This bull is very attached to the people who saved it from certain death after a bullfighting match. They have been friends for eight years.
Four years ago, veterinarian Kelly Bennett rescued Ricky the bear from awful conditions in a mini zoo. And here is their first very emotional reunion. Considering that adult otters are impossible to tame, this guy is very lucky. If you want us to love you just as much, subscribe to our channel. That's all. See you in our next video. Take a look at this reunion. Or this one. Or this one. When animals reunite with their owners after a 